If you have used snack bars in your app before, you have probably learned some of the drawbacks, such as you will sometimes need to use a builder or if you call it after a navigation as part of a network request. The context will be gone and it will result in an error. Notifying your users about different events has never been easier than it is now. The new snack bar messenger fixes a lot of the problems we have had before, such as easier to handle and it also lives through the navigations that we do. One key part right now is that this approach is only accessible on the beta channel and not yet on the stable channel. Later on, when it's merged to stable, depending on the implementation, if it has changed, then the repository down in the description will be updated as well. So if something seems off when you watch this video down in the future, make sure to check out the repository. And of course, if you enjoy these kind of videos, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. And let's get started. Let's start off with taking a normal application and just removing all of the comments. So right now we have used this typical counter application. So right off the bat, Material App will now contain the scaffold messenger, making it possible to create or show and remove our snack bars. So for a quick way to show this, we're actually just going to change the on pressed for the floating action button. We're going to keep the increment scaffold. And now we're going to access the scaffold messenger through the context. As this is now an inherited widget. So we can call the show snack bar method and we can pass our snack bar. Now, of course, a snack bar requires some kind of content and we will just go with a text. Inside this text, we're just going to keep going with the same that we have on the screen. So we'll just print out or show the actual counter value. And before we just show that, we'll just format this. And now we have a working example of how we can show a snack bar. Now I will show some more about it, but let's just check the example of what this actually creates. Here we have the application. And when we press the add button, we can see that we get that snack bar and that shows the actual value. Which is what we expect and what we can already do with the normal implementation for snack bars. Now, one thing that the old implementation lacked is that when you use other screens. So we will just change the snack bar to just displaying the text of Mr. Snack instead. And we're going to go ahead and scroll down to the bottom and create a new widget or a new screen. We're going to go ahead and call this Mr. Snack page. And of course we have to return a scaffold. So we get that white screen and not black. For the body, just to make this very simple, I will just have a center text and just have some text written in the middle so we know that we have navigated. I will also add some visual settings for it. So we will make the text actually a bit bigger so it's possible to see. And we're going to accomplish this using the theme.off context and then using the text theme and then we can select a headline that we want. I'm just going to go with headline 2 as that will suffice. Now after showing the snack bar, we'll go ahead and create a code for navigating to that new page. And to do that, we used simply use the standard navigator by calling navigator.offcontext and then just doing push of a new material route. And in the builder of this material page route, we will just instantiate our Mr. Snack page. When this is complete, we will see an example of how this actually transitions to the new page. So of course, here we have the application once again. Now when we press this button, we will navigate to the new page as well as showing the snack bar. Now this is already working a lot better than before. As we're actually showing the snack bar before we navigate and when we navigate it transitions to the new page without us having to do anything. Now to make this a bit more interesting, we're going to start the navigation before we actually show the snack bar. As sometimes we may do some kind of network request and we're going to illustrate that using just a future.delayed. So let's just imagine that we do a network request and that takes two seconds. And after those two seconds, we want to display a snack bar. The main problem with this before is that sometimes or a lot of the times the navigations had already happened. 
meaning that the context that we used pointed to the wrong scaffold and we could not show the actual snack bar. But now using the new scaffold messenger, we don't actually look for the scaffold context as we did before, but instead looking at the scaffold messenger inherited widget. So we will actually navigate, wait two seconds, and then show the actual snack bar. And let's look at an example again. So here we have the application. We will click on the button, meaning that we will navigate to the new page. And this will take about two seconds, and then we get the snack bar showing. So this is a great way, for example, when you want to save some kind of user data, and then you want to have a snack bar saying that it's saved, and this will actually persist even though the user navigates out of that settings or page. Now, what we also get with this scaffold messenger is ways to hide or delete that actual snack bar. So to illustrate this, we will add a new future.delayed and we'll just make it to something like a half a second. So what we want to have is that it will show the snack bar and after half a second, we will just remove the snack bar. Now there are two ways to remove a snack bar. We have the hide current snack bar as well as the remove current snack bar. Now looking at the documentation for the hide current snack bar, it will use to remove the snack bar by running the normal exit animation. And that animation is just the one that you see when the time duration of a snack bar has disappeared, meaning that it will just minimize. Now remove current snack bar will just remove that snack bar immediately without showing any kind of animations. So if we start looking at examples for this, if we navigate to the application and we click the button and after two seconds we'll get the snack bar and then it will instantly disappear. That's because we use the remove snack bar. Now looking at the other implementation or the other method, which is the hide current snack bar. Now if we look at the showcase of this, so navigate to the app, click in the button, we can see that we get to the new page and we saw that the snack bar appeared and then animated down. Now I just want to reiterate, the scaffold messenger isn't accessible during the stable channel, so you have to use the beta channel or above. And if you do, I promise you this one will save a ton of time and it's also super easy to implement. Now if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also like as well. And of course, if you want to support me, as well as getting a bunch of different perks, make sure to check out Patreon down in the description. And I have a bunch of other cool links down there as well, so make sure to check it out. And if you're still here, make sure to check out one of the videos coming up on the screen right now. And I will see you in the next video.